Remember you are speaking to Diana's paparazzi Yeah! Jack and taxi driver for his taken I had Al Pacino shaking like he's having palpitations Yeah! I know you think I said the wrong character I did, I like it when I mess up I'm not mad at yet I'll leave you click with the bone apart complex you be seeing more iron than a Tony Stark invention I roll with animals like Noah's art collection No, you don't like Slim, it But I could always start pretending Yo, O'Shea Like what the fuck you talking about? I don't know, lad But it rhymes in it Shut your mouth So fuck you and your AKA video with your women looking like Macy Gray in it, bro. I've been said that I still Yo, welcome back. This is Don't Flop, Blood in the War 5, the fifth and final event. We're here in Brixton, South London at the Jam Bar. Shout out Jam Bar for letting us always do our events here, man. We've got a hilarious battle about to happen. First, got to say big up all the sponsors. This battle is sponsored by Mecca, Burning Card and Dilate. They supported uh, us by providing t-shirts, hoodies, hats for all the different uh, battles and all that shit. You can check all their uh, logos and intros and all that. Anyway, on the right-hand side, from Manchester, his first Woo! London battle, we got Elves, make some <laughs> Big up L's every time, man. And on the left, a crazy motherfucker in the battle scene, repping Malaysia. We got Zayn Alzheimer. L's chose to go first. It's 90 seconds on L's. Let's go. Let's start with a comparison. <laughs> I smoked the leng. You look like you smoke hard food. <laughs> Let's compare our kicks. Neat red and black Avisu. Fucking Clark shoes. <laughs> Shit. Yo, now I lost my first few battles. I apologise to the real fans, but the truth is, I never lost. I beat myself, no masturbation. <laughs> and if you think I'm gonna lose to this fat Malaysian, <laughs> crazy. If you're sick, then I'm the vaccination. Oh. You fucking weird looking motherfucker. <laughs> you look, you look like a burn smoker. <laughs> you're so infatuated with don't flop. You had your first boner wanking off to ur posters. <laughs> The fact that your parents sent you out here stashed in a lorry has probably made you turn colder, but you need to count yourself lucky, because you wouldn't even fucking be here if your slut of a mother didn't have enough money to fly out to Malaysia and find a sperm donor. <laughs> Fuck your life. <laughs> I'll cut your wife with a butcher knife if that slut don't suck me right. <laughs> Listen. If you say something in this battle that I don't fucking like, you and your family are coming for a ride out to the countryside. Listen, 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 listen. As soon as I let you out of the boot, you're getting greeted by your sons and wives surrounded by guns and knives. You've got two choices. Act like you're stubborn and full of pride and your son watches his mother die. Or, or you can pay me 105 grand then I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm gone faster than Buster Rhyme spitting double time. Oh! Why does your sister's ass smell like fish and carp? <laughs> In fact, why are you here spitting bars? You should be over the road at the chip shop frying Snickers bars. <laughs> Listen. Everyone in this room knows that Zane's missus is a vicious skep. <laughs> Don't look surprised. How the fuck do you not show how the fuck do you show that bitch respect? We've all seen the footage on the internet of that bitch shooting ping pong balls out of a pussy on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> but even though your wife's a skep, <laughs> Asian women have got tight fannies. <laughs> so you don't know that I love a pussy. <laughs> Funny, 
that thousands of your women have got hole in the name, which is ironic, because it seems like it's becoming a cultural trait for Asian women to fuck for money. <laughs> Time! <laughs> I love how he knows so much about me. No! I love how you so much know so much about me. That's fun, me. His name is named after my fan club, fuckface. Els, E L Z. Everyone loves Zane. Woo! I'll strangle your bitch. She stopped breathing. Let's just. <laughs> Let's just say it's like falling in love because I took her breath away. Oh! Then I stabbed her chest, make open wounds in seconds, fuck, but fuck her chest bloody hole with my erection. Till my, dick, till my dick gets close to her heart, so when it busts, it's like an emotional connection. <laughs> My huge knife ripped it. She felt it in her gut, and I don't mean she listens to her instincts. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I'll smash her skull open, drain out the brains, make the brains ooze out this bitch, and make her get shut up, shut up, and make her give me brain. Then her act until her actual brains run out. Run out. She don't get proper sex. So I drown her in the toilet bowl and stop her breath. She died happy because I was the first bloke who got her wet. Yeah. I'll take the no. I'll, I'll stab, I'll stab her chest and I'll stab my knife into her rotting chest. My knife is like, my knife is like the, my knife is like a big problem that gets her lots of stress. When it gets under her skin, she can't get it off her chest. Watch your step. I will have your, I will have your girl cut to fine chops, and have her ribcage and legs in her mother's pie shop, and have brain and a piece of ass on her bed. Like, I, like how I fucked her in her other night job. When I cut your bitch to pieces, <laughs> when I cut your bitch to pieces, it's, it's like when I sexed your mom. And she never gave me a blowjob while we get it on. I got to see a nice body, but the head is gone. <laughs> what else? Wait, 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 wait. I actually like your flow. I actually like your flow. The fact is, these shoes were made in Thailand for 2,000 pounds and cost more than your whole wardrobe. <laughs> You're starting to get me pissed off. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if there was two grand, they looked like they was bought from 20p <laughs> from the chip shop. <laughs> you need even buy them. The only reason he hooked him up is because he looks like the owner. <laughs> Listen, in his battle with the most prob, he said, my knife game's crazy, actually. <laughs> but don't get it twisted. It didn't mean that he's been using his knife to do crime because there's a lack of jobs. What he meant 
Talk to this nigga. He's growing up in Malaysia. He had to use his knife every day at dinner time, chopping up cats and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what pisses me off, bro? <laughs> Watching a film Saturday night on BBC. <laughs> To go to the corner shop on a Sunday morning and get harassed by one of your cousins trying to sell me the same shit, claiming it's an exclusive DVD. <laughs> <laughs> you know what them Asian man are like, always trying to sell you something dodgy. <laughs> Saying they've got the best new electronics in town and no other guys can get them. I only met Zane yesterday. He's already tried selling me an iPhone 7. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're built like a super heavyweight, but your punches land with the impact of a flyweight. <laughs> you're only boosting your knife game. You're only, you're only efficient. <laughs> Listen, I'm not joking, I'm thinking. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Let me start again. <laughs> Fuck your mother, bro. <laughs> to me, she's just another hoe. I busted on her face and then the bitch done a tootsie roll. <laughs> Let me go back to that one. Listen. I've got a sick mind. I'm the type of guy that'll shoot up your wife and turn up to a funeral just for a free plate of noodles and rice. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Listen. Let's set it straight. Let's set it straight. <laughs> Your punches land with the impact of a featherweight. I'm like M and J, I'm a renegade. Your style's second rate. If I ever do really meet your mother, I'ma strap that bitch's, up, bitch's mouth up with sellotape, grab her by the back of her head, piss all over her yellow face. Wow. Wow. Do you know why? Do you know what? Listen, real talk, this is no this is no word of fiction, this is real talk. Listen, I mean this, I mean this, I mean this, listen. Do you know what happened? He just spent about four minutes fictionally dissing my spouse. It's all good though. Last night I was with your wife. Sucked me off for 25 minutes. I said I'm about to bullshit on this. I thought, fuck that. I just pissed in her mouth. <laughs> Why do you look like you've been taking drugs? I do. I know, I know. <laughs> you look like you've been puffing white all your fucking life. I don't know why you trust your wife, because even though I don't drug supply, she loves my pipe. Mm. <laughs> you know, a man's got no style when he's got his goatee all trimmed up. He's got long girls coming from the chin down there. It's not a good look. You know, what, you know what else is not a good look? Your sister's a good cook. But not a good suck. She loves nothing more than bust nut. Even deeper, that bitch has just opened up her own social networking site called Slutbook. Now that's fucked up. Them glasses are shit. And if you're going to try and get a flip and tell me it was made for 15 grand in Malaysia, you're going to piss me off even more. <laughs> There's no way that them shoes. <laughs> go on, go on, go on. Go on now. He said he would fuck my wife. He's extremely refined, dude. I mean, he dick hides me so much, he wants to inherit the same STDs as I do. <laughs> ask Arcane, true story. My mom is rich, my mom makes money, and she's got a big ego. You broke teacher fuck. She only has sex with rich people. What else? I'll grab your damn dame, put her in my... My, my band mate will grab your damn dame, put her in my van mate. She pops ecstasy and got endless, endlessly gang raped. <laughs> then we wrecked. Then she OD'd, holes bleed, ass fucked by 10 guys. We ran her over, 
That's a high sex drive. Her pussy is so loose, it's so hard to ride her. She has a good sex drive. Then we fit the whole car inside her. What else? And then, and then she survived. And then she survived and told me she was pregnant for, for pregnant for three months. And then I told her to hit the road and use her stomach as a speed bump. Everything racist thing you say, man, this is whack. <laughs> I carve a red cross on your white skin, English flag. They'll find you, they'll find you, they'll find you in London with your intestines missing. And that's fucked up. <laughs> because you'll die like a coward. You didn't have the guts. <laughs> what else? I think you've got hot lyrics. Same. But, but he lacks passion when he pops this shit. Rip out your chest. Your chest will be like your lack of dedication. Your heart's not in it. <laughs> okay. Time, time. The arena of death. Listen. Let's go, Elvis. I ain't offended by none of that fictional bullshit about my missus. You can claim you put your dick in her. Truth is, it's just words. She would never ever fuck anyone with bigger tits than her. Oh. You look like you come here straight from karate class or a judo lecture. Nah. Nah. Nah, I'm lying. You look like a cross between a scientist and a sumo wrestler. Oh. Yo, <laughs> trainers worth three pound. <laughs> Baggy pants worth a fiver. Arcane t-shirt, he charge you 55 pound for it because nobody likes you. <laughs> I'm all about the green like CeeLo. Real talk, since I've been standing here, I've been thinking what the fuck's worse, his breath or his B.O. <laughs> Yo, I don't give a fuck about all your lies. I know that you flow with humor. Doesn't change the fact that you look like that wrestler Yoko Zuna. Oh! <laughs> what else? All the twitching and tweaking you're doing is making you look suspect. <laughs> your missus is only three foot tall, but she's still a buff skep. What? <laughs> she can stand up and give good neck. What? <laughs> You know what else? What? <laughs> what? It's funny that you're 28 years old and you travel the world doing battles for free. It says a lot about your life, saying. When your first son's born, I'm gonna grab him by the back of his head and punch his fucking eyes straight. Shit. You know what else? What else? What else? What else? Your parents represented your country, right? No. <laughs> well, that just proves that on the internet that he tells fucking lies. <laughs> you said your parents represented something to do with a major military, whatever, whatever. All that shit. All that shit. Stupid. Dumb. They give you money for your studies. You spend it on boozing and drugs. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is funny. Which is funny. Because your funds are like them prostitutes you fuck with. They go as soon as they come. Woo! What are you going to do right now if I slap you in the face? <laughs> yeah. 
What are you going to do if I take your mum back to mine tonight and slap my dick in her face? I'm going to make you film it, bro. <laughs> That's where it gets deep. <laughs> now, real talk, I'll always give respect where it's due. I'll always... No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I just wanted to see if you was on point. <laughs> you ever smoke one joint? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> My flow's hot. <laughs> Jefferson Pride lied yesterday. You look like all the staff at a phone shop. <laughs> oh shit, my freestyle, I'm not joking, I'm thinking. My freestyles are starting to get a little bit below par. But it's okay, I can pick it back up again and tell you, you should have fucking wore a bra. <laughs> Your titties are sagging. Your hair, your missus is slagging. <laughs> she's on the corner selling a nanny for 99 pound every night. And she's selling white. She hustles better than you. Let me just drop this quick before we finish. Yesterday, so his pops is a millionaire. If your pops is a millionaire and you're wearing them shoes and them pants, that's nothing but silly. Uh. <laughs> but as useful as being a billionaire and putting your dick in your head. <laughs> exactly. Pointless. <laughs> Time. Time. Yeah. 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 Speaking of putting dicks in ears. Hold it down. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of putting dicks in ears. Wait, go another round, man. Let's go, man. Speaking of putting dicks in ears, I did skull fuck your mother. My dick is like bad advice. It goes in one ear and up down. <laughs> I give props where it's due to. What you said about my son was totally sick. I'll make your son disappear like a total eclipse. Woo! Damn! On the real, of all your UK veterans, only Erg is better than me. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so sick, I make Professor turn green. A gangster from Manchester, right, bitch? <laughs> yeah. Well, all the gangsters yeah. from, well, all the gangsters from Manchester formed a massive alliance, squashed their beef, and gang raped your your girl, and that bitch liked it. She's Alex Ferguson. She got Manchester United. <laughs> I noticed he's only acting tough to foreigners and little kids. <laughs> Believe me, mate, his life is a paradox. It's really strange. This dickhead only acts hard in front of a pussy. So when you're with a real, real man, how come you're never really straight? <laughs> and you, on some freestyle shit, you're a tranny that's really gay. <laughs> Your gender is like Obama. It needs a change. Really? Everything you say about being gangster sounds shit. Sounds sick. <laughs> and, and about me, my family, how, of how they sound rich? Wow, kid. Now, when we pay a million pounds, to the best guy in London to kill off your whole family, what the fuck you gonna do about it? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Woo! Woo! Yo, it's Er, I'm back here at Don't Flop, Blood in the Water 5. We just had a fucking surreal battle, man. Big up both MCs, big up L's every time, big up Zane every time. But going 2-0 and in Don't Flop is Zane as well, man. Make some noise. I want to say something. I want to say something. I'll be honest.
this. Before this bell, I never, I didn't like him. I thought he was arrogant. And wait, 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 wait. On the real, but he, and he actually, I thought he was arrogant because he was asking for a John John the Don battle, and I thought he didn't deserve it. I take back everything I said. You deserve it, and I want to tell her he does deserve John John the Don. <laughs> My name's Pamphlet, uh, I voted for Zayn Azari in that battle. You know when you go to a party and the walk there is more fun than the actual event? That's kind of like that with this battle, like the setups were just ridiculous. I was laughing my nuts off. Uh, Zayn Azari in three. Um, I'm going for Zayn, it was a sick battle, funny as fuck. Els killed it as well, but um, I just think Zayn was funnier all the way through. I'm going to see. Yeah. That was the first time I've ever, ever cried in a battle. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it to Ellis, I gave uh, Zane the first round, I gave it to the second, third, made it to Zane's third, it was funny and it was kind of like, what was that? Get on with it, it's a big old job. Thank you. I gave it to Ellis. You gave it to Ellis? Is that? I'm Jack as well. So I'm Young Gun, aka Essa. Um, I voted for Zane to win that battle. Because, like you just said, I was crying with laughter, he made me really, really laugh. And I've got to be honest, I didn't like some of the racist comments that Els was saying as well. I thought that was a bit inappropriate. I know it's a battle, but I don't like that shit. He is very good though. Um, but I'd like to say, by the way, that's my mixtape, Jack Will, out now. Couldn't resist a shameless plug. Younggun.com, check it out. Uh, Genesis from Saturn have got in the water for you. Fucking squash Els and Zane. They gave to Zane, man. Their styles are really similar, you know, pausing with like stretched out funny bars, man. Funny as fuck, like fucking death was saying, cried all the way through it. Um, I just thought Zane edged it that little bit more. The first two I gave to Zane, the last one was kind of up in the air, maybe a bit more to Els. But um, I think like both of them kind of had like funny flips, but I think uh, Zane was just that bit more on point, like that line about coming all over our heart to make a fucking connection, man. That was, oh, I just sealed the deal for me, so Zane. What's going on people, this is Young Gun aka Essa, big shout out to Don't Flop, look out for my brand new mixtape Jack the World, mixed by DJ Mr Thing, featuring Guru, YG, Doc Brown, Tony D and many more, available now for free download from younggun.com.